Political campaigns used to rely on speeches, rallies, and newspapers to reach and motivate voters. Then radio and television made it possible to reach everyone quickly and simultaneously. Today, campaigns can spread their message instantly and interactively through the Internet's so-called social media. The Internet's role in political campaigning has grown hugely over the last 20 years. It's used to spread the candidates' messages, to raise money, and to motivate voters to get actively involved. My candidacy. When Democratic Party presidential candidate Barack Obama ran in 2008, his team used the Internet to a degree never seen before and with significant effects as political communication strategist Peter Fenn. First of all, if you look at the numbers on this, it's absolutely incredible. He had four million donors to his campaign, which is about one out of every 17 people who voted for him gave him money. That's that, that never happened in American politics. Second thing, you had about 16 million email addresses that he had of folks. In the 2012 presidential election, both major candidates, the incumbent president, Barack Obama, and his Republican challenger, Mitt Romney, are using the internet, including social media such as Facebook and Twitter, massively and strategically. And each form has a role to play in message delivery, says the Romney campaign's digital media director, Zach Moffat. The way that I would think about it is Twitter is kind of the ultimate real-time engagement tool. Twitter is the conversations occurring in real time. I would think of Facebook as happening that night. It's almost like the, conver the, the events has occurred and people are reflecting upon it, and then Google kicks in the next day, and they're able to kind of put structure to all that madness and is able to say, okay, this is how people talked about it. Social media also enable voters to respond to candidate misstatements in awkward situations. It's hard to know just how well it will turn out. There are a few things that were disconcerting. There's a guy called Mitt Romney who wants to know whether, one, whether we're ready which then spread like wildfire across the internet. Politico newspaper correspondent Tony Rom. If there's a piece of information, it begins to bounce around essentially. It's shared, it's repeated, it reverberates. We see that with things like gaffes. When somebody says something on Twitter, then it begins to explode in popularity where people are retweeting it and creating hashtags around it. We see the same thing on Facebook when a user shares a news story about something a candidate has done, and then that begins to explode, eventually landing up in major newspapers making major headlines across the country, so it has a huge effect. Internet political strategists say the goal with social media is to collect data from voters in order to personalize the campaign to make the candidate not only familiar but also to be seen as a friend who knows and understands the problems voters face and want solved. That analysts say is the retail politics of today and tomorrow. Jeffrey Young, VOA you News. That, uh, even though I have not chosen the person who will be my vice president, that person will be 